In a controversial decision, President Obama used his recess power to appoint a director for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau today. The president nominated Richard Cordray as the country's chief consumer watchdog last summer. However, Republicans in the Senate blocked his confirmation, a move the president calls inexcusable. President Obama made the announcement during a stop in Ohio today where Cordray once served as attorney general, promising Cordray will go to work immediately, looking out for the best interest of American consumers. He also urged Congress to extend the payroll tax cut for all of this year. Every day that we waited was another day when millions of Americans were left unprotected. Because without a director in place, the consumer watchdog agency that we've set up doesn't have all the tools it needs to protect consumers against dishonest, uh, dishonest mortgage brokers or payday lenders and debt collectors who are taking advantage of consumers. And that's inexcusable. It's wrong. I refuse to take no for an answer. The recess appointment means Cordray stands to serve for at least the next two years. But Louisiana Congressman Jeff Landry is fighting against the president's appointment. He says the president made the recess appointment, quote, in total disregard of the Constitution and after the Democrat-controlled Senate voted down the nomination. Landry has led the House efforts to block President Obama from making recess appointments. Other GOP leaders say their objection to Cordray's nomination has nothing to do with the nominee. Instead, they want changes made to how the Bureau is overseen.